Hi, this is Kelly, Document Geek. I wanted to explain today how to use the highlighter feature in Acrobat DC. And it used to only work on uh, regular documents, non-scanned documents, and um, but they recently changed it. And so you can actually use the highlighter tool on a scan and highlight stuff other than text, like you can using just like regular highlighter in the cup on your desk. So it's it's on the surface, it's more intuitive, but we're going to see how it works. So click on the comment tool and then click on the comment tool again. And you can see that you can, you know, highlight, kind of fill it in. But like, what if you want a thicker, a thicker marker? Um, what you do is you just click on line weights and you just bump it up. You can still change the color just like you could before and, you know, play with the opacity. And let's say that you, um, you know, you don't want to keep having to redo your settings. And so you can just um, right click on them and make current properties default. And then now from here on out until you change it again, the, um, the properties will be the same. What's kind of nice is that it seems to have some sort of intuitiveness to it in that it, it like locks um, the 90 and the um, you know the straight horizontal and vertical lines so that's that's kind of nice um, but it doesn't always work that well it doesn't seem to work on um, regular non-scanned documents um, which is pretty frustrating because all my best engineering drawings I, I beg and plead for non-scanned versions so that they print nice but then I can't can't highlight them with the the blob highlighter tool as I like to refer to it it kind of reminds me of the blob tool in Illustrator um, only they just call it the regular highlight text tool here in Acrobat there are some glitches though because let's say I'm gonna go and edit this PDF and Acrobat automatically does this like page recognition thing in the background. It's off the screen right now, but it says converting scanned uh, images to editable text and graphics. And that means if I wanted to, I could like go in and, you know, edit, literally edit this text, um, which is kind of scary that it, they make it that easy now, but you know, so be it. We just have to be aware that people have more capability to change our documents now that they didn't have before. Um, but what's interesting about this is that now it affects the way that the commenting tool works. Uh, it affects the way the highlighter tool works. So before we just had like this, this, you know, brush here and we could, you know, brush on stuff and, you know, make a little blob. But now that this text has been recognized, it, um, it wants to highlight the, the text like in paragraphs, um, which, you know, depending on how Acrobat recognizes the text, it could cause a problem. Like I want to go from declarant to letter E, but it, it, it Acrobat won't let me. It wants to like highlight everything up above, which is not what I want. Um, so you might have to, you know, kind of play with it a little bit to get it to behave the way you want. But I think that's true of the highlighter tool in general, um, not necessarily having anything to do with this new um, blob highlighter feature, um, but just something to be aware of. Um, so anyway, that's the, the new, new and mostly improved highlighter tool in um, Acrobat DC. It works um, on scanned images. There you go. Thanks a lot.